Hello, everybody. How straightening the camera up. <laughs> We're here today to do a post review. Yay. This was my uh, second finish for July. No. For August. What am I talking about? Yeah. But first, I want to say hi to all my subscribers, old and new. Thank you very much for being here with me and wanting to join my channel. And for anybody new here today, well, hello, hello, welcome in. And if you would, uh, if you like what you see, anybody, even if you're not subscribed, you can hit that like button. And if you like what you see and you're new, you can hit the subscribe button and come on back whenever you want to and see what I'm up to. Because I would certainly appreciate it. So, and I hope you're all doing good today. Really do. Hang on now. So, we're going to do a post review on Cavalier Cat by Jeff Haney. H-A-Y-N-I-E from Diamond Air Club. It's a 56 by 71 that had two ABs in it. And I uh, put a couple more in. Not a lot. I, w I had planned on blinging this one up a whole lot. But some canvases I can just look at it and see what all the details are. But this one I found it a lot harder to see what the details are. Like I had to pick things off then put things on. Whereas... Um, if you watch the Dean Russo one I just did, Brave and Free, you could just look at that and just say, oh, I'm putting that here or there, because you could pick it out better. So it's just a different, is it just, I mean, this is a busier canvas, right? So I didn't put as much in this as I thought I would, but that's okay. So this is a round. The drills were great. Now, I bought this last year sometime. Yeah, or maybe even the year before. Who knows? And um, I did it for uh, Claws and Pies. Um, Anxiety Art Adventure Laura is putting off that event. is in August and September, actually. So anything with Claws and Pies. So we got Michelle Cat has Claws and Paws. And Mr. Mouse. Mr. Mouse, Mr. Mouse, and there's supposed to be something like a mouse here. Oh, and there's one right up here. But again, they don't come out as well in the rendering, it gotta be heard, as you did see them on the picture, on the, on the original artwork. And, uh, but they're still okay. Of course, again, the further we are away from it, the better it will look. Uh, the stick was good. The symbols were good. It'd be strange if, if anybody said they weren't from Diamond Art Club. But one never knows, because sometimes every company has something goes wrong. And um, so I did do a couple changes. So, this is called... Sparkler's Metallic Arctic. And it's um, just that. Let's see. See the silver? I'm going to bring you back out because I want you to get a look at it. So this is his sword, his blade. And what they had in here was, this was all called for, for white. And I'm still thinking about taking some of these light blue ones out here and making those white. So a few of these. And the white ended here. It didn't go all the way up. It's like the blade was in the shadow or something. But I might take out this dark blue line and put the blade all the way up. I don't know for sure. The moon was also white. And I didn't particularly like it. So I changed that to... Uh, oh, where's that bag? 
Hmm. To uh, Sparkler's White Opal. And now it glistens. In the, and you have that like blue cloud going across it, right? These little yellow things are fish. I didn't realize that until uh, I was looking at the, uh, the sticker so I could see where to put things. So all these little yellow blobs are fish. I didn't realize this until my friend um, Lenka, Lenka D, she has a channel. She said, this is a fish. And I went, sweet God, so it is. He has a fish mask. Here's his back fins. And here's the mouth of the fish. And I'm like, wow, I didn't even recognize that. And I think she's the one to point it out, some of the mice. And she's the one that told me that all the yellow spots were fish. That's right. I didn't see it myself. She told me. Now, I did, um, I put a couple quad cubes up here in the purple ones up here in the purple ones. Deep purple. Now, they're darker than that. A, B. Yep. Up here in the feather and in the forehead. And a green one right here. Green one right there. And then I also put in some, um, let me see. Let me see if you can see what I see. These greens are ABs. Um, I don't know what it called for, but I put in 3118 AB. And then we have the purple ones that are uh, 209. I think that was a direct substitute for the same number. So this yellow was in the kit. It only came with two colors. And there's those uh, quad cubes I put in up there. Oh, down right here. They don't show up that well, though. They're a dark AB here. This right here. That is um, 300 is like a dark brownish color. Yeah. And there was those and this one, right? And that was the green. And a little, there's a little couple, oh, and I, let me put you out further, hey? Little couple spots of white up here in the sky, so I just used some, uh, White ABs that I had, uh, DAC ABs. Now in his hand, so you look at it, this is, um, you look at it, this is the cuff of his, here's a hand holding on the blade. This is the cuff of his uh, glove. So I put orange ABs here. And it had like spots for four orange drills. So I put orange ABs there. And this is the other hand here. The other hand is out like this. And it was holding this bright, you can see, like glowing egg. So I, there were four colors there. So I used Sparkler's Sunshine. Oh, Sparkler's, let's go closer to the camera. Yeah. I used Sparkler's Sunshine for one of them. Daff, oh, daffodil, sparklers, daffodil, AB. Just sparkler yellow. And frost. That was a sampler. But I do have frost, fr and that's an AB. That went right in the middle. And that were the orange quad cubes. Let's see if I can show you this one better. That was the what went into the. This is what went into the blade. Isn't that beautiful? I didn't know where I'd ever use that to. So there's the egg. It's like the golden egg. So the darker it went, darker, lighter, lighter, lighter. And actually, it called for white in the middle, so I didn't mind putting that there. And here are the quad cubes I put in the cuff. Yeah, so, and again, now I'm going to post, well, I must post this on Instagram today, and I'll have a, 
a list written out of um, what I did with it. But now the, the, the up in the moon with the opal sparklers. It's like they're a smidge bigger than the round. So I might have to seal the moon. But tell me what you think about this blade. Should I rip all this stuff out or leave it alone? Or should I make the whole thing silver? But other than that, I'm quite pleased with it. I think this one took me uh, 13 days to do. I have too much time to dominate people. But look at the sparkle. Look at the sparkle. They're nice. Even without ABs. I don't, and, and one of the other ABs. Why were the two ABs? Let's see. I had lots left over. Oh, yeah. There was a blue AB. Where the heck did that go? I wonder. Oh, I can see there's a bit of blue right here. There's a bit of blue right there. Oh, and there's some right here. And here and here and here. Right there. Okay. And that um, lime green went up in the eyes. Yeah, they could have put a whole lot, a lot more... Uh, Maybe is in this one, but anyway. But I do like it. It's one sassy cat, man. And this is this mush mash. See? This mouse here has got the end of the mustache here, because this is the mouse's tail. And here's the other curly cue of, of the mustache, and with his whisker. And he's got like this snazzy goatee. And it comes down here and curls up. <laughs> Oh, I think it's cute. Nest a sash on his uh, outfit. Like, he's like a Spanish cat. Sort of reminds me of Puss in Boots. And this is his cape. Like, his cape is blue. But this is, must be the inside of the cape. Right, because that's the shoulder. Unless the sleeve is different. Hmm, could be. Because you don't really see his sleeve on this side. Only his big cuff of his glove. Yeah. And the... I was going to do something with this big, uh, sim like the big plate on the sword, but I didn't quite know what to do. I did put two qu uh, purple qu quad cubes right here on the end of the handle because it looked like a gem in the picture. Yeah, so there you go. There's my mousy fishies and, and my big cavalier cat. <laughs> oh, and up here, this is a, if I don't get my head in the way. This is like the outline of a castle up here. And you see these little, these are like little cats. And then masks. See the ears of the cat. And this one here, you got the same way. The outline of a cat with, with a mask. There's like all this stuff hidden in here. I probably haven't found half of it. <laughs> oh my. But anyway, it was a pleasure to do. Oh, and I want to tell you that I'm a Diamond Art affiliate, a new one. And if you have never bought from Diamond Art Club before and you made it this far to hear the announcement, um, I have a code DIANE10 that you can say have save uh, $10 off your first purchase. It's only good for uh, first-time buyers. Anyway, everything is down in the description box. Other customer codes, affiliate codes, whatever, it's all down there. How to get a hold of me. Find me on Instagram. Why not? Oh, yeah. That's what I say. When I post this on Instagram, I got a list written up of uh, what I actually did. So I'm going to post that with it. So uh, if you have the same... If you have the same kit, and if you like what I did with it, you can do the same if you want. Or, you know, there you go. We're all there to help each other. Right? Right. All right. So, oh, trash. I see the trash looking at me. Not a lot of trash at all. And I would say that uh, probably a quarter of that came from the floor. You know what I'm saying? Because we all lose something somewhere. I get up in the morning and I go like, oh, what's on the floor? Now, don't mind those um, sparklers because they didn't come in the kit, so they don't count. Yep. So not a lot of trash at all for this size of a... This size of a canvas, I was really impressed, actually. Um, so, that's all for today. But first, here's your... Oh, your great big squishy hug, because 
we all need a hug at some point. I hope you like what you saw. I don't know if this one is still for sale or not. I really, I haven't looked. Anyway, if it is and you like it, you can go buy it. Yeah. Sorry. Bye for now. Hit that uh, like button, please. Leave me a comment. I love reading your comments, even when something hides them from me sometimes and I'm late answering. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.